Serpentine Tower, despite being a place created almost 20 years ago, is still one of the most mysterious places in the game and is visited daily by dozens of players trying to discover something new. But unfortunately no one has been able to advance beyond the fire elemental and the djinn. Will it be possible to advance some other step? Or even if it is not a quest, what's the logic behind this mysterious tower? What does this place want to communicate? These questions and other much deeper details, and probably never mentioned before, you will see exclusively in this video. In Anchorman there are almost 40 books full of information, so it is very important to know which book can give us clues and which cannot. In this case, the most likely books to contain clues are research papers. But in addition, there are also at least 6 books with quite curious stories, and that perhaps are very important to be able to advance in the quest. You can pause the video to read the book if you want. One of these books tells about a character called Master of the Games, which suggests new challenges. But the vizier in charge of Anchorman suspects that this character wants to include demons and jinns in these new challenges. Therefore, he totally denies this request, as the vizier thinks this could cause chaos in the city if one of these creatures got out of control. But what does this book refer to? Well, the truth is that in Tibia, these kinds of books are generally very important. Any player who has spent years investigating mysteries will know that these books are written in the form of riddles, since at first glance, it is very difficult to understand what they refer to. The information presented here is really important, since it is the only book that tells us about a jinn related to the city, therefore, it is very sure that it is a clue. But first let's see what the logic of this book could be. If we talk with the NPC Orman and ask him about his work, he will answer us that he is the arena master, which gives us some light that the book refers to him. But what is the meaning of the arena in Ankraman? For this, various NPCs will give us similar answers. But the answer we need to be sure is found by talking to NPC Jakar, who tells us the following. Fights are frequently staged in the arena to entertain the people. Therefore, we can confirm that the arena is a place of entertainment for the public, where battles take place between city dwellers, being then a public spectacle. But apparently, the battles have become boring, and for the same reason, the arena master proposes to try battles with demons. So, following this logic, the book makes sense, as the vizier finds that bringing demons to the arena could cause chaos should the situation get out of hand. But let's not just stay with this, now let's go to the Serpentine Tower. In the library, there is a research paper, which has its name crossed out. Since as we can read at the end of the document, this spell has been forbidden by the pharaoh. So, will this banned research paper be the result of the book Greater Challenges? Most likely yes, since they logically coincide. If the arena master intended to experiment with demons, the vizier forbids it, and therefore the pharaoh forbids it, then this research paper corresponds to an event subsequent to the book described above. Now we must understand that Serpentine Tower is an academy of magical arts, therefore, it is very certain that here they have tried to do that experiment of a demon, since a demon in Tibia is not like any other creature. It is not possible for a demon to be acquired as a pet, rather they are one of the most powerful creatures in the game created by Zathroth, in addition, their nature does not correspond to our kingdom either. Actually, the demons belong to a different dimension than ours, and only through portals made through spells, are they able to enter our dimension, as the research paper called Demon Summoning explains. So if we read this research paper carefully, it also tells us that in an attempt at demon summoning, three mags died. But the important thing really is when he tells us the following. It is still too difficult to predict in what way the fabric of time and space is affected by the breach of the sphere. This refers to an attempt to open a portal so that the demons could enter our reality. 
then we must imagine this portal as a black hole found in the universe in real life. These black holes are so powerful that they warp time and space around them, which are also believed to connect with another dimension. So in this case it would be similar, the researchers tried to open this gap to bring in a demon, but it was a catastrophe that ended up killing three mags. And for the same reason, it should be noted that probably the vocation required to pull the lever must be a magician, more specifically a sorcerer. But later we will talk in more detail about possible more specific theories, for now, let's keep searching for the logic behind the quest. Therefore, following this logic about the portals to summon demons, it would mean that the portable hole that we found next to the jinn refers to this situation. The magicians managed to create a practical way to open these portals and that item would be the one. But now let's move on to the cat eye spell research paper. This research paper, in addition to its information, has a great difference compared to the other documents. First of all, its numbers are in the opposite sense, it has a smaller number and then a larger number. But in addition to that, one of the most important aspects of this research paper is its location within the tower. One of the aspects that must be considered to unveil mysteries is to observe the environment of a place. Or in other words, look at the architecture of the place, the arrangement of the elements and the type of item. In this case, this research paper is the only one inside of a drawer, unlike the other documents which are in a public library. What does this mean? Well, this means that this research paper is hidden, it even has a bowl on it. You have to imagine this place as an experimentation laboratory, but someone hid the forbidden research inside the laboratory, where only researchers would have access, therefore, no one else could know about the information written here. This is probably where the quest really begins. According to the logic that we have so far, we know that there are certain investigations forbidden by the pharaoh, so perhaps this document would be a deepening of this secret investigation. We can even give more proof of this, just look at the lower floors of the tower. We, as players, can see creatures there, but remember that it is a role-playing game, therefore we must get into the context. So suppose we arrive at this place with the creatures locked up, what could we see here? Well, the answer is nothing. We would only see walls everywhere, just like going down to the last floor, where we could only see magic walls, and not the gym. It would be impossible to us, as a player, know that there are creatures behind the walls, since the walls are hiding the creatures. So now we can understand why there are secret mechanisms to activate certain actions, since they correspond to actions that must be kept secret and only those who secretly investigate from the pharaoh are those who have the knowledge about these mechanisms. Finally, to conclude this first chapter about Serpentine Tower, we must return to the research paper Cat Eye Spell. This research paper is probably a necessary document to advance in the next step. The text tells us both about clues and the logic of the quest and gives us big hints of what to do. One of the important things that we can read in this document is that it tells us that the spell would give to investigators the ability to work at night to avoid unwanted attention. That is, again, working behind the pharaoh's back. And on the other hand, the name of the research paper is a great hint that no one or very few players have noticed. The name, Cat Eye, refers to the arena of Anchorman, since if we go to the arena, we will realize that the shape of this arena is a bit unusual. Generally, as you surely remember, the arenas we see in movies are round and not like the one in Anchorman. This one in particular, is a square arena, with two spaces with mysterious levers, which is not known what they are used for. Now if we look at our minimap, we will realize that this arena actually refers to Cat's Eyes because its shape. In addition, as the research paper says, it says that this ability should be used at night. Therefore, the following action must be done in this place when it is night in the game. And curiously, if you have read the article that Sipsoft published in Tibia.com about mysteries, they refer on several occasions to the word, night, linking this word with Serpentine Tower. Most likely, the arena is the next step and the correct place to advance in the Serpentine Tower, which will probably be to free the vampire, since we know that vampires do not like sunlight. But practice may not seem as easy as theory. Personally, I have already tried it on several occasions and failed, 
but anyway, I invite you to try this or other theories, and perhaps, it might gives you results. But on the other hand, I don't think these are all the clues. Today we have only reviewed a couple of documents, but there are many more and there are also many more logical hint of what to do. But this will be for the next videos, since this series will have at least three more videos that explain all the logic of the tower. So subscribe and share this video. So as not to miss information and secrets never told before about Serpentine Tower and about other places that players probably don't even imagine are unsolved quest.